Okay, so welcome back to this course. So in the previous video, we have basically updated the password of the currently logged in user. And now in this video, I also want to update the profile of the currently logged in user. All right. So for that, I simply create here a new controller method. So that is update user profile that just go that will go to slash API slash v1 slash me slash update. All right. And then that first of all type here exports dot update profile will be equal to catch a sync and then first of all let's pull out the new user data so const new user data equals to name that is request dot body dot name and also you have to update the email so request.body.email and now again we also have to handle the uh, profile picture of the user so right now we don't have the functionality of the cloudary so we will add that later so I simply type a command here um, update avatar and that is to do all right and then after that we simply have to update the data so I simply type here const user equals to await user dot find by ID and update and then I simply pass in here the ID first of all so request dot user dot ID and then the new user data that I want to pass in here first of all new to true then run validators to true and then use find and modify find and modify to false all right then after updating it i simply have to send the response or as the status of 200 dot json let us simply pass in here success to true and that's it so the main part is this avatar also but we will add that functionality later when we will add our cloudary in this application all right so let's simply save it go to the auth and in that let slash up uh me slash update so slash me slash update and must be is authenticated user so update profile copy and then let's save it and test this route so you got it postman new tab put request domain slash api slash v1 slash me slash update and in the body we have to pass in here the new data in the json form so let's first of all update our name i enter here my full name and click on send from here so can i read property id of undefined at 169 169 that is request dot user all right so now if i click on send so please enter your email oh that's right we have to also enter the email because email is required now i also want to tell you that if you are confused here that if you only want to update the password not the email so in the front end basically we have our form that will contain the data of the currently logged in user so name email and the profile picture if you don't uh, change your password oh sorry email then it will remain there but in this case you don't, we don't have specified here so we have to also specify our email here but on the front end we don't have to type it because in that case the email will be already present in our field so whatever field we update in the front end will automatically be updated in our uh, basically database and i'll show you all that stuff later but i don't just have to enter the email also because it is required 
and also click on send from here so that is double c like this oops like that and now if i go to the uh, get user profile you can see that my previous name is this and now i click on send and now this is my full name all right let's save this route so update profile update profile of currently logged in user and in the users all right and close this one so we're also done with our update user profile and in our next video i will basically um, handle my three routes for admin like get all users and specific details of a user update the user and delete the user and those routes are admin routes so in my next videos i will handle all this stuff or routes related to the admin in the users resource all right so i will see you in the next video